Michael Frankel for CageMinds.com. Here with Brenda Gonzalez, boxer, MMA fighter, on the way back from injury, and going to be headlining a boxing event. It's February 28th down there in El Paso. How's it feel to be on the way back now? It feels good. It's been a long eight months. Um, I like to fight as often as I can. I only got to fight twice this last year, so I'm hoping to have a busy year. So I'm excited to get back in the ring and get to fight again. Now, you bounce back and forth between both sports. Was there a specific reason or was it just the opportunity that led to boxing being the first thing that you're doing when you're getting back active? Um, just the opportunity came up. Um, it was a good opportunity. You know, like I hurt my arm my last fight, so we wanted to see how my arm holds up and then whatever MMA comes up next and it sounds good, we'll go with MMA or boxing is, sounds good, we'll go with boxing. Talking about the injury, tell us a little bit about the recovery. I saw you several times throughout it. Knew you were just biting at the bandages, wanting to rip them off and get back to being active. But tell, tell us about it. Yeah, it sucked. You know, I went all the way to Japan. Uh, happened in the first round. The girl got, took me down and stuck my hand out, dislocated my elbow, tore my UCL, other stuff. So it was heartbreaking. You know, I didn't want to go out like that. You know, it happened first round like I say so it's been an emotional roller coaster you know but I'm back on track and I'm excited to get back in the ring. From your experience in MMA had you had a landing like that before where it worked out that bad for you was that a first? No and then of course you know all these wrestlers were like telling me don't ever put your hand out to break a fall so lessons learned. <laughs> Live and learn get back to the drawing board. Right. And then, once you got the clearance from the doctor and everything, after the rehab and you're able to start getting back into the training, how long was it before the muscles started, you know, working with you? Because I'm sure those first couple days of sparring, throwing punches, trying to keep your hands up so long, the elbow wasn't having it. Um, it took a while. I know I rushed back into it um, probably too soon, but... Me, I'm a hard head, you know, I can make to get back in there. Uh, I quit rehabbing a little too early and kind of tweaked my arm again, so I, I knew I had to kind of back off a little bit and just train smart. So, how much did this, you know, reignite your love for the combat sports? Being here at the gym, I know it's him, and watching all this going on, how much did just, you know, reassure to you your passion for the sports? You know, we take being healthy for granted. Uh, I've had a few, you know, bad injuries that made me, you know, appreciate what I get to do um, that much more. So I was in here pretty much every day, you know, watching. Um, you know, I still was learning, you know, because, you know, when, when you're watching, you're picking up information. So I was in here still almost every day doing what I could do, you know, whether one hand or whatever you know so I try not to miss a beat as much as possible so yeah. and now coming right back in a main event opportunity and I believe it's the promotions first boxing event even right um, I'm not really sure it could be um, I'm excited to go out to El Paso I went this last weekend watched a couple of my teammates fight uh, same promotion, throwing the boxing event, so got to go promote the fight with Jennifer Hahn. So uh, I'm excited to be the main event. And Jennifer Hahn, a sizable experience advantage for you, but again, nothing new to you. We know about the pancreas fight going out there, and even Amanda Crispin, your last boxing fight, there's a sizable advantage. It's something the experience you're used to working against. So does it even affect you anymore? Or? No. Um, you know, everybody's telling me. Or, you know, I hear a lot of people telling me, yeah, Jennifer's tough, you know, and it's like, that's cool, that's what I want, you know, I don't want to push over fights, I want to go fight the best whenever I can, so I'm excited. Um, I think I've had one girl throughout my fight history uh, that was making her debut, which was when I made my debut, so I'm used to have, you know, fighting people with experience, so it doesn't affect me um, training hard and doing what I need to do. Does it help with the training that you're able to, you know, singularly focus in on the boxing and you're not doing an MMA fight, so you're not working on seven different things at one time? Yeah, um, I've just been, you know, 
concentrating on the boxing. Like I say, I was I was rolling, doing some MMA when I first came back, and my arm, you know, wasn't fully fully healed, and kind of had to take a, a step back from that. So, like I say, just training smart, you know, concentrating on the boxing right now. What is the uh, the mindset? How long did it take to not worry about the elbow anymore? Has that gone out of your head yet in the sparring? Or? It's still there a little bit. Um, it's still there. It's like I say, I know it's not 100%, um, but it's, it's close to it. But I still, you know, I still kind of baby it somewhat. Take care of it. So what's been the steps of uh, knocking down those mental barriers from that not babying, get, getting used to just throwing it at will, winging it at whatever angles? Just, you know, I try and find my comfort zone, you know, try and get warmed up real good, make sure, you know, I'm not going out there cold and stiff. Um, just, you know, I don't go out 100 miles an hour like I usually do, so I start out slow and get warmed up and then just, you know, if it hurts to do a certain thing, then stay away from that certain thing. And we obviously see that in eight months you didn't go crazy. So what was it that kept you sane through this time? It was close. <laughs> uh, I, I give props to Timmy for uh, taking care of me, <laughs> dealing with me, um, my family. But uh, you know, it was tough. Like I, I realized how you know this sport keeps me. You know, it's very therapeutic for me. I gotta work out every day um, to stay sane, so it was a close one. When you're in those steps of rehab, what was the first uh, activity they allowed you to do? Was it jogging? What was Jogging, yeah. You know, I, I had a, I think I had it taped during the sling. Um, you know, I still, I had to wait a while before I could jog, before the, you know, the bouncing and stuff. You know, I still kind of hurt it. But jogging was the first thing and I couldn't wait to start jogging again. So that was the first, you know, the next step. <laughs> and then it's been eight months. Anything else that you've really changed up? Things that you're doing different now that you're liking? Um, haven't really changed up, uh, you know, a whole lot, you know, from when I was on track, you know, strength and conditioning, I started adding that in, you know, it took me a while to, you know, to trust my body before I jumped in and started doing weights and stuff like that, so, you know, like I said, I eased into things and then see, just to see how my body would, you know, adjust. It's going to be February 28th, you still got a long year ahead of you, what's the goals for 2014? Just to make it a good year, man, <laughs> like I say, last year was a rough one uh, for me and Timmy both. Uh, you know, hopefully just come out with a bang this year and stay busy and healthy. So just have a good year. I know there's people that you need to thank, people you want to shout out to. You know, I want to thank all my fans, my family who support me. Uh, you guys, you guys motivate me. I know you always tell me I'm, I motivate you, but you guys motivate me. Uh, my team, the Wild Bunch, my coaches, you know. You guys, you guys keep me going, keep pushing me. Uh, I gotta thank Signature Cuts, my new sponsor. She did my hair, I know it's not looking very pretty right now, but you know, she, she did me up the other day. Um, I gotta thank Sun Bear Chiropractic for sponsoring me. Um, still have a few spots open for sponsorships, so uh, hit me up, uh, Brenda Gonzalez fan page. So. Thank you for the time, and again everybody, February 28th, down in El Paso. Brenda Gonzalez, Jennifer Hahn, in the main event. See you there.